All right, you fire signs, back on track. Let's see where we go. Oh my gosh. Today I've just been off the chain. I hope you're doing all right. <laughs> There's been like rain and dogs and not rain and craziness. So anyway, I want y'all to know, for those of you who are struggling in this Leo time, uh, we're at the end of Leo, struggling in this time, um, and also with Venus and retrograde in Leo, some of you are, if you have allowed Venus in your birth chart, meaning um, my, uh, I'm a Libra rising, so Venus rules my whole birth chart. So you might have that sense of like, wow, I'm, this is supposed to be lighthearted energy, right, Leo? <laughs> if you have, uh, if you have some Venus that's really loud and it's very prominent in your chart, then you might be having a harder time than normal. So I just don't want you to be like, hey, I'm supposed to be having fun and it's really sucking. So like, just, okay, just give yourself permission to like be in the energy that you're in, all right? Um, so if you don't know how to deal with your birth chart, come on along, my birth chart analysis group, uh, we meet every other week and we go through big topics like this. I'm going to start talking about Jupiter is going retrograde in September. We have Uranus retrograde at the end of this month. Um, and we have met, uh, Mercury going retrograde very quickly, August 23rd, I believe. And, and I'm also going to be talking about reclamation of birth charts. So if you don't know what your birth time is, I'll be talking about that in September. All right. So jump along, jump on along. There's a link in the description box below. All right. So let's get going here for sure. For sure. Meditate. My friend, meditate, 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 transformation. Okay, number one, something is going to be blossoming in Scorpio time. All right, so as we get through um, Virgo and Libra and into Scorpio time, I feel like some big change is happening in um, late October, early November. So don't freak out if you're like, oh my God, I can't wait that long. Um, just know that it's coming. Uh, also, in the extended, I'll pull cards individually for Sag, Aries, and Leo, so you can kind of get the lay of the land for you more personally. Okay, affluence. All right. So some of you have to reconnect with your guides. Some of you are just, you've just kind of, you're kind of one click off. Okay. It's not a big deal. It's like, it's not, it's not, um, it's not death, it's change. And... So everybody just chill out. All right. Everybody just chill out. There is a big change coming. I feel like a lot of you have some um, financial, um, you know, some big windfalls coming. So like it's just not time yet. So just relax. It's just not time yet. And um, it's OK to just take time, pull up the drawbridge, do your meditations, do whatever you need. Do some good self-care. Take good care of yourself. Eat a good dinner. Have a good sleep. Go to bed at a reasonable hour. Like whatever whatever you need, okay? Whatever you need. Make yourself a nice dinner and, and go to bed early or something like that. So there's sun. We're in Leo time. See what I mean? This Knight of Pentacles keeps showing up. It's just like stuff is kind of slow in showing up. And for the fire signs right now, stuff is kind of slow. So take good care of yourself self-care. Here's the King of Cups. I feel like if you're waiting for a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Virgo, um, they are delayed. King of Pentacles, but they are showing up. Wheel of Fortune. This person, uh, this person or this opportunity is showing up. And I just feel like you need to, to turn your attention away from it right now. This is what's going, it's going on. There's nothing for you to do. Do you like when people say that to you, like there's nothing to do, or do you feel like uh, powerless? Um, because sometimes, um, sometimes when I'm um, twisting around or when I'm feeling like, I don't know, like the energy feels weird. Like I just want to be able to have, have a project to do or something. I just want to be able to have to do something about it, you know? And so what you can do to kind of get yourself out of that feeling is self-care. So what does that mean? You can do the most goofy, lighthearted, go get your toes done, um, look into Botox, 
know. I just that just showed up. I don't know where, who that's for, but like look into things that you've been wanting to do for yourself. Take good care of yourself. Eat a dinner. Make a dinner that's fun. I did that the other night. I have a dish that I make that you know I, I was making a lot uh, when I was married, and I was really loved it because it was healthy and it was delicious, and I just loved it. And my mother was a chef, so. Um, I kind of got into this rut about cooking when you just cook for yourself. It's kind of a challenge, right? Um, but sometimes I'm just like, no, just going to make it. I love it. I know I'll have a ton of leftovers. I don't really care. Okay. So uh, Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. This is just a necessary evil. This time period, I hate to put it like that, but this is just a time period. It's no big deal. All right, four of wands, three of pentacles, the justice card. There's Libra time. All right, uh, the ace of wands, another ace. The high priestess, you're really reconnecting. And the temperance card, beautiful energy. There's your Sag, okay? So um, there's three aces here. The one we're missing is the ace of swords. And it's possibly because the ace of swords is right there next to you. Um, when you're laying there, when you're getting your self-care, when you're doing your thing. So your alignment with truth is coming through meditation as it always does, but it's more than that. It's pointing toward a big transformation and there is some kind of affluence. You notice the King and Queen of Pentacles over here. Um, some of you are really transforming from a Knight of Pentacles, which is like grind away, uh, do the hard things first, eat your vegetables, um, you know, do the un, un, unfun things. Uh, it's clean the bathroom day, like whatever it is, do the unfun things. Um, but I feel like that is something that's really going to help you. Like do the projects that are annoying to you. So I have, I have a little closet that's annoying to me. The broom keeps falling out. So I just pulled it all out and fixed it. And I was like, oh, now this is a delight. Okay. I have a drawer in the kitchen that has, you know, it's a catch-all. Everybody has one. Okay. I'm going to just burst your bubble about how perfect other people's lives are and yours isn't. That's totally wrong. Um, <laughs> everybody's got a catch-all drawer in the kitchen. And so let's, in some way, shape or form, it may not all look the same, but there's a place where everybody drops their stuff. There's a place where everybody puts the pens and puts the pens that don't work, by the way, and puts all that stuff in there. And it's just like, oh, it's so annoying. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in your refrigerator that's you never use, but it's like, looks good. So you have it in there. Like, I need to have wasabi sauce just in the unlikely event that someone wants wasabi sauce, which they never would, but okay. So... There's a little bit of like chopping through the things that are holding us back, right? Or that are keeping us in places that we're not happy about. Some of you are actually living in a place that you're not happy about. Happy about. Some of you are actually doing things that you're not happy about. You really need to take better care of yourself. That's the queen of pentacles. And the new offer is coming in. This ace of cups, a new sort of bright, shiny penny. We got the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Sort of this bright energy coming through. Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, new partners, new projects, new things to do. Um, and then really getting this jolt of uh, uh, psychic energy here. Uh, Archangel Michael is looking out for you. Just want you to know that, okay? So Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords. I feel like you're turning your back on a lost cause here. Feel like you're turning your back on a lost cause. Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. There's the other ace, Ace of Swords. So yes, you are turning your back on a lost cause. It could be you're dealing with someone. This was in the air sign reading. I see Libra here. Um, uh, I see Libra again in that energy of the Empress, Libra and Taurus. So I'm, I'm feeling like you're turning your back on people who are unavailable. If you're dealing with an air sign or you have any air, you might want to go watch that air sign reading because I just did that. We're talking about unavailable partners and it's like you're really the unavailable one. So it's almost like you're healing that if I can kind of tag it with the air sign reading. I feel like the um, 
the learning new stuff. I feel like for you, this is more about embracing um, some kind of change in terms of your intellect, in terms of ideas or thinking. You might have some really stinking thinking in there, kind of um, self-defeatist, uh, you know, undermining yourself. I don't know how to do what I need to do. I don't know to, how to get where I want to go. It's just all nonsense, right? Like when you start to take better care of yourself, queen of pentacles and the nine of, of pentacles, ace of swords. Okay. So the truth, the truth, ace of swords and the ace of cups, like, what is it that I want to create? Where am I going? I feel like this has been a little bit of a um, I'm going to use a different deck to clarify. I feel like this has been a little unclear for you for a while. And so I'm going to get a timing card here. I, I do feel like once we get to Libra, you know, we go through Virgo. Virgo might be a very um, uh, queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles time, doing things that take good care of you. Okay. Doing things that take good care of you. The hermit Virgo time. <laughs> It's Virgo time. <laughs> All right. So that's definitely the world. Wow. Virgo, uh, the hermit energy, three of cups, definitely. Okay. And then the tower. So sudden change, three of cups can be the next holiday. So whatever the next holiday is for you. In the States, we have Labor Day happening in early September. Um, we do have, I want to say this to you. We do have... I'm preparing for my class today. So we do have Uranus going retrograde um, in Taurus later this month. Let's see. Um, Uranus going retrograde August 28th, and that's going to stay in retrograde until the 26th of January. So any kind of in Taurus, right? So Taurus is about what makes me feel safe. So Uranus in retrograde is like looking internally Retrogrades are always about looking internally about change, innovation, individuality, introspection on personal freedoms and what you want. And Taurus is like, I've jammed myself too much into a box. It's too, it's too not um, good for me to be so unmovable. And Uranus and Taurus are kind of opposite energy, right? Um Taurus is very much about anchoring and about hunkering down. And Uranus is about, no, I'm going to explore. Um, I'm going to look at everything. Personal freedoms are very important. And so is change and innovation. So I feel like that's what the healing is about. It's like, I need some kind of change. I'm too, this is Virgo energy again, right? This is the lower octave of Virg Virgo energy, if you will, meaning it's like, the good doobie, the one who does, this is our, this is our system. This is a step-by-step -step process. I will follow the rules all the time. This is the higher octave of Virgo, which is about healing. Okay. And so there's a beautiful healing energy that's coming through here. Tower, blowing apart any kind of thing that is keeping you stuck, keeping you sort of anchored in. And then we have the world. Some of you are really going to break out. Okay. Really going to break out. We have Mercury going into retrograde in Virgo, August 23rd through 15 September. Okay. And so that's kind of interesting. That can be about communication. It can be about travel, misunderstandings, tech glitches, as we know. Virgo is about um, our health. So be very careful about how you're, uh, how you're, um, or what you're doing for healing. You know, some of you could get into, um, Maybe doing like a medicinal ayahuasca, doing, you know, um, uh, some things that are kind of like way beyond. It's like more than one step forward, like something that might be something that's way outside of your comfort zone. Um, but some of you just need to take one or two steps like you don't have to go off and become a monk to meditate. You just need to start meditation. OK, you don't have to like throw yourself into it with reckless abandon. I know you fire signs. I'm one of you. So you don't have to like do all that. But I do feel like um, the shift happens when you finally recognize that you got to take better care of yourself. OK, and later on um, in the month, I'm going to talk about um, Jupiter, Jupiter going retrograde. Let's see. Do I have notes about that? Jupiter going retrograde September through December. 
And Jupiter is in Taurus, again in Taurus. So this is about inner growth, expansion, self-reflection, reevaluating your beliefs and your values, a spiritual quest. Going on a spiritual quest. So some of you might really decide to do that. Some of you might blow out of your, you know, decide that in order to heal, in order to be sort of on my path, you know, some of you are like, this is one step beyond my comfort zone. And I feel like once you do that or just take that one step, you'll be able to see forever. OK, it will really take you beyond um, your wildest expectations. And I think that's what the Ace of Wands, High Priestess. And then, of course, this tower. OK, the tower could be happening early, late or in Virgo time. Sorry. And then uh, the Sagittarius time. Jupiter, right? We have that Jupiter energy of retrograde. Jupiter, and you know, Sagittarians know that Jupiter and Sagittarius is all about world travel, is all about expansion, is all about change. And so there is something about transformation in Scorpio time. So this is a lot for you. This is like a bigger reading that's encompassing kind of like the end of the year, which of course I will continue to do the monthly readings and all of that kind of stuff individually. But I'm just saying like, this is something that if you have really felt stuck, there's the starting point is self-care. Does that sound boring to you? I'm so sorry. But that's, you know, if you get beyond that, if you get out and you're trying all these different things, it's like it won't take, it won't do as good of a job as if you were in your own self-care, in your own Queen of Pentacles, in your own Nine of Pentacles, and your own aligned with Ace of Swords. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. If this is your reading, there is a link below. If you want to continue on with me, I will do individual readings for Sag, Aries, Leo. Get some cards for each of you guys, and then we'll look at... Um, how this is going to play out. All right. Link is below. Let's keep going. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.